Once upon a time, there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming one of the greatest basketball players of all time. I, I can understand people naming number one player in the nation, but I have to move on and uh, try to improve my game. Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School. People say that you have the opportunity to go to the NBA and play against the greatest players in the world. That doesn't get you going. I don't think anything will. Here we got a dribble drive, change of direction by Bryant. Slam dunk. Woo! Ever since I picked up a basketball, I just wanted to play in the NBA. That's all I knew. That's all I thought about. But I never knew I was good enough. I just knew it was something I wanted to do. And if I wasn't good enough, I was going to make myself good enough. He worked day and night, every day, for years and years and years and years and years. That's what basketball is all about. Oh! I mean, it's fun to me. Welcome to the Kobe Show, take two. It's a chance to perform. All the emotions, whether it be anger or excitement, that you have held inside you. Once you get out on the basketball court, you just let it all out. You just let it all loose. Kobe dribble drive. Kobe. Oh, what a slam dunk! <laughs> My God. I remember what Babe Ruth said. He, he swings big and he misses big. Same thing with me. I have no fear whatsoever. If I take the last second shot and I miss, so what? Take it. We make it. Good. Let's all go home and get ready for the next game. I really don't care. Inside the three-point arc, fades and fires and hits at the buzzer! Kobe Bryant has hit a shot at the buzzer! You know, I, I like to be known as a, as a player that, that overachieved. It's not something where it's like, um, yeah, I love doing it because I love winning. No, that's not real love. It's, it's do you love the process? <laughs> that gets you to that, those boring, agonizing moments. If you love that, then you know <laughs> you found something that's really true to you. As time went on, and he felt that he had accomplished all that he set out to accomplish. But what he come to realize is that the goal that he set out initially of becoming the greatest of all time was a very fickle one. I know where you're going. You gotta get up quick. If you knew where I was going, why you go for the fake? Mike, after you fake the ball, where else you gonna you go? You left your feet. Yeah, but where else you gonna go? In the game, I go for you. I spun all the way around. I go for these ribs right here. There's a difference between who you are and what you are. And what I am when I step on that court is, you know, I become that. I am that killer snake. You couldn't possibly expect this to be easy. If you want to make history, you have to do historic things. 61, Kobe Bryant, most points ever scored here at Madison Square Garden. 62 for Kobe, but he has more than Dallas has. have witnessed the second greatest scoring performance in NBA history. I'm relentless, you know, and I, I want to win, and, and I want to win by any means necessary, and uh, that's when that demon comes out. <laughs> Our test looking, gets it to Brian. Brian dribbling, has to put it up with the buzzer, backs it in! <laughs> He backs in the three! And that is just greatness personified. It's, it's completely different than how my life is off the court. You know, off the court, I'm, I'm very laid back. I'm, uh, I just love spending time with my family. You know, just being a husband, being a father, being a goofball, just, <laughs> you know, just kicking back and relaxing, really. Say hi.
such a long journey, so many ups and downs, and so many sacrifices for my family and me working hard. And I've always said that I wanted to be remembered as a player that didn't waste a moment, didn't waste a day. And uh, I felt extremely blessed uh, by the God-given talent. But at the same time, I didn't take it for granted at all. You know, I think that's a very powerful message to have and something that hopefully the players that are now and players that will come later choose to embody as well. And that is what he realized that's what makes true greatness. The story would be about transformation of a kid looking inwardly to then growing up and understanding the importance and the power and significance of looking outwardly. <laughs>